This year's World Cup in Sao Paulo may be kicked off by a Brazilian teenager who's paralyzed from the waist down. The Walk Again project, led by Brazilian neuroscientist Miguel Nicolelis, is racing to finish a mechanical exoskeleton that can be controlled by its wearer's brain. The technology has advanced to the point that the teenage kicker will wear a non-invasive headpiece that detects brain waves, and they'll be trained in virtual reality to control the exoskeleton. And thanks to research that Nicolaelis' lab published in the journal Nature a couple years ago, the paralyzed kicker will be able to register a tactile sensation when they kick the ball. These are the things from around the internet that have us talking today. There are five species of snakes in the Malaysian jungles that are able to transform their skeletons to glide through the air. A study has revealed exactly how these gliding snakes contort their bodies to cover a great deal of ground. When it leaps off a high tree branch, it rotates its ribs forwards and upwards, making its body double in width. This transforms it into a much flatter aerodynamic shape, similar to an airplane wing. It moves its head back and forth, which passes waves down its body like it's swimming in air. Professor Jake Sosha carried out the study by creating a plastic copy of the snake's cross-section and placed it in a tank of flowing water and gathered data on the way the water moves around it using lasers and high-speed cameras. After completing a massive study of their own, the U.S. Department of Transportation will enable technology allowing vehicles to avoid crashes by talking to each other through the exchange of basic safety data like speed and position. The safety applications would provide warnings to drivers so that they can prevent imminent collisions, but would not automatically operate any vehicle systems like braking or steering. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology contains several layers of security and privacy protection and does not involve exchanging or recording personal information or tracking vehicle movements. The largest ever road test of V2V technology was in 2012, when nearly 3,000 vehicles were deployed demonstrating that this works in real-world environments on a large scale. And consumers have said that they've been really pleased with the technology during the initial testing phases as well. This has game-changing potential to significantly reduce the number of crashes, injuries, and deaths on our nation's roads, said the NHTSA's acting administrator, David Friedman. And here's an industry analyst describing the changing automotive landscape toward automation. For example, I believe that in probably three years from now, four years from now, you will have cars that are self-aware as a first step before they are truly autonomous or self-driving, right? So and that means they can actually interpret what you do as a driver and what state you're in and look at the surroundings of what happens and put that all in together, analyze it and serve you up information, do things automatically for you that will make it easier for you to go through your life. So I think the progression of innovation in the automotive space in particular will happen way faster than many of us realized. Another area that's being really closely studied is physical cosmology. NASA has a great video explaining neutron stars, which are the ultra dense cores left behind after a massive star comes to the end of its life and explodes. The star's outer layers are blasted away in that explosion, but material left at the center of the star collapses in on itself. This forms a tightly packed ball of material, becoming a neutron star, the densest object in the entire known universe outside of black holes. Using images like this one of globular stars, astronomers have figured out the relationship between a star's mass and how big they are. The new data shows that an average neutron star with the same mass as around one and a half of our own sun would only be 12 kilometers across, about the size of a town. With so much material packed down tightly, neutron stars are incredibly dense. The pressure at their centers is over 10 trillion trillion times the pressure required to form diamonds inside the earth. Well, that'll do it for this full episode of TDC. Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, I'm Bryce Plank.